New this morning, some last minute changes to the Rays stadium deal and the redevelopment of the historic gas plant district. St. Pete City Council will have to approve a series of 12 agreements in order for the project to move forward. The city postponed a workshop and vote for a week to go over the changes. Yeah, 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live from the TROP to break down some of those changes. And Jenny, this whole deal is on a really tight timeline right now. Yeah, that's right, Jamison and Caitlin. You know, the Rays really want to get this going because they want to start construction on a new stadium as soon as next year with a goal to have it open by the 2028 baseball season. So let's talk about some of the changes we're seeing in this agreement. The city, you know, for them, this is much more than just a new stadium. It's an entire district where they hope to have residents that can work, play, live. It's that kind of lifestyle they want to create. So one of the big changes now is a requirement to build a grocery store that's at least 10,000 square feet. And that's likely due to concerns brought up by council members about all of the people who are gonna live here having access to fresh food. The caveat to that, of course, is the store wouldn't have to be built until 2045. Now, some other changes requested by the council, a requirement to build a daycare or preschool facility that would be able to serve the families who would live here, that would need to be built by 2035. And I know these dates seem like they're really far away, but when you think about building not just the stadium, but an entire district here, we're talking about many years down the road. So um, we do know that development already does include a minimum of required 600 affordable housing units, although the goal is to really at least double that. It's also going to have an African American History Museum along with an entire entertainment district of hotel shops and restaurants. So the city, they have released all of these documents uh, so that they can start looking at. They want the public to be able to look at them as well. We have a link to them on our website, 10tampabay.com. If you want to go through and look at all 11 hundred pages of these agreements. It covers everything. And as I mentioned, they were originally going to hold the workshop this week and the vote, but they uh, held it off till next week. And that's going to be the workshop on the 16th and then the vote on the 18th. Jameson. Hey, Jenny, this is a big investment for the city. Can you break down just how much the city and the county would be on the hook for to get this project done? Yeah, right now the estimated cost is 1.3 billion dollars. That's right now what the estimated cost is. Uh, it, the city of St. Pete would be on the hook for about 287 million, while Pinellas County would uh, have to pay 312 million. The Rays, of course, would have it to come up with the rest of that money. By the way, Pinellas County Mission Commission has not even scheduled a vote yet on this. So this is something we're going to be following for quite some time. Reporting live in St. Pete, Jenny Dean, 10 Tampa Bay.